Hello and welcome back to the new Love Advice TV studios. I am joined by Coach Alex, the one and only. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Super excited to be able to do another series of videos with you. You motivate us. Please come back. People on YouTube love you. I'm and so your happy French to be back. Accent, absolutely. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do this video because a lot, a lot, a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are cheated on, oh. and they feel frustrated. They feel vulnerable. They have self doubt. And we're asked, you know, what can I do about it? But also, why do people cheat? And I wanted to address this topic with you because of your experience and because you've seen so many different cases uh, over the years, over the last decade, that I wanted to, you know, try to tap into the psychology here of cheating uh, and to have a sense of why do you feel that people cheat and is there a way also to prevent that from happening in your relationship? Yeah, I think it's a picky subject. It's something that, um, so I'm French, my words, I need to work on my word choice, but it's really important for me to share what I learned from my experience. I have these feelings, and you can tell me if you agree with me, that there is two types of people. One type of people will cheat because the relationship didn't bring them happiness, you know? So they were not happy. They don't know how to communicate. They don't have the resources that we give them to be able to communicate, but also to change the relationship and then to don't cheat, you know? Right. But there is also another type of people where you can do everything that you want. They will cheat, you know? They are not, they don't have the conscious of what is a real relationship, what is love? Why is it so important to not cheat on someone? And, but unfortunately, I said unfortunately because this is not the common idea. I just feel that 80% of the people that I've coached who were cheating, they were cheating because they were not happy. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that you have a responsibility. I don't want to say it's your fault, okay? But I just want to give you what I learned. I learned that when we cheat on someone is because we are not really happy in a relationship. We are not feeling that this relationship is fulfill hers. Right. And so I would say that's, that's why most of the time people cheat. And the reason why is because we didn't receive an education about love. We don't know how to communicate or to express our feelings, but also the negative emotions, how to show you love. And this is the reason why I started also this project and why you join us, because we want to give you this education of what is exactly loving someone, but not loving someone in order to don't love yourself. I don't want you to be emotionally dependent. But I would say that people cheat because most of the time they are not really happy in a relationship or in their life. And this is sad. Absolutely. Uh, from my experience, most of the time when cheating occurs is because a couple has grown far apart. Okay. Um, the common life project is no longer a priority and people are dealing either with existential issues, unhappiness um, in their professional life, or too much stress with day-to-day -day chores and obligations, and you forget to water the plant of the relationship. You're so consumed by your selfish desires, your pain, your um, lack of happiness, that ultimately you go outside of the relationship to try to fulfill something that your partner in reality can fulfill and has fulfilled usually for a very long time. It's easier to go buy a shiny new toy than it is to think about why this toy um, was so dear to you in the first place. As human beings, ever since we're kids, we tend to want what we don't possess. We tend to overvalue what we don't have and to neglect the things that bring us joy and happiness day in, day out. And that's why in most of the cases, cheating occurs in relationships that are perfectly healthy. Um, like Alex said, there are certain types of people that it seems as if they cannot control the cheating impulse. It's stronger than them. 
And although they love their partner, although they're happy, although their partner is doing everything that they can to make them happy, they just can't resist temptation. Why? Well, a lot of times it's because of the acquired knowledge, right? Of the past also and absolutely. experiences with the families. Absolutely right. The way that your parents behaved or the, your, you know, basically the relationship that you witnessed as a kid growing up or simply because there are there's a baggage there that hasn't been addressed emotional baggage that someone carries with them and like Alex said because we're not taught how to communicate how to love and sometimes because we're afraid to hurt people that we love we carry this baggage with us and end up hurting ourselves and our partner even more along the way so Alex is absolutely right. The, this project, Love Advice TV, and with my ex again, is bigger than just helping you get back with someone that you love. It's way bigger than that. We have set out on a journey to teach people everywhere around the world how to communicate in relationships, how to be in healthy relationships, and how to not let taboos and your cultural heritage basically force you down a path that you want to, that you don't want to go down okay sorry if i went a little too philosophical or too deep with you guys but i feel like it's very important to kind of give you some of the background here and to understand that ultimately you know you can only control your own actions and not your partners and you need to be strong enough to also know when to let go if you're dealing with a person man or woman who can't control themselves and who will continue to hurt you along the way. And I feel that the only one solution, because I want to also help you to understand how you can go over or you can just move on from this type of relationships. I want you to think about the love. Most of the time we think that love is natural, it's normal, it's easy, but love is not as easy. We need to learn our partner, we need to learn what we really want, and this is always a journey. It's never finished. We always learn from our experience. I just want you to um, be in this challenge that I give to every people that I've coached. It's to be actor of your life. It's to act for your life, act for your love life, and then you will reduce the change that people will cheat on you because you will be involved in your relationship. So you will not be bystander by the life and by your partner, you will really be involved. And this is the only one solution that don't think people will make you happy. You need to bring the happiness to you, act in your relationship. And then that person will say, oh, she or he is unique. This is something I know it takes time. It takes coaching session. We can work all together on your case. We can really change your love habits. But if you really want to be happy, I want you to be in this challenge to act for your life. This is something so important. And to act for your love life. Are you agree, Coach Yudin? Absolutely. In every one of my videos or in my coaching sessions, I talk about setting the tempo, right? You need to take action is basically what Alex is, is telling you. It's about taking action. If you wait for your partner to be perfect, if you wait for them to be happy, it's not going to happen. You need to live out the type of life that you want to live and to invest in the relationship, to create the type of relationship that you want to have, ultimately. And if you do that, magical things will happen. And ultimately, you will find the right person for you. But just keep in mind something. I'm smiling because this is something really important. Everything is about pattern. So if you are doing the same things that don't bring you result, mm -hmm. there is a trouble somewhere and you need to work with a coach or with someone to understand why are you doing these wrong things. And then you can change the pattern and be more happy in your relationship. This is something really important to keep right. in mind because when, I, when we ask people to act, most of the time you will act like you want. But a relationship, even if there is cheating or every trouble, every problem, you need to understand your partner. This is something really important That's I want to share with you. It's very, very important. And at the end of the day, if you have not reached your goal yet, and if you've had made many mistakes and had many setbacks, you probably want to change the way you act, right? And sometimes you need perspective, you need advice and guidance to be able to, you know, show you the way. Some people get it, others need more help, and that's okay. And that's why we're here. 
So if you ever need a coaching session or more support, you know where to find us. And the beautiful thing is that the team is growing. We have Coach Steven, we have Coach Natalie, Coach Alex is doing video Skype sessions now, and he has so much experience. So please, whoever you're most comfortable with, reach out and request to work with that one coach. It's one team, one family, one philosophy. We are all pulling in the same direction to help you reach your goal, okay? So, as always, don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Talk about what happened. Talk about the cheating that occurred in your relationship. It's important to verbalize what you're going through, not to bottle everything. And to release your emotions too. Exactly right. And other amazing people in the Love Advice TV community will, show you, will shower you with love. And perhaps we will answer your comment or question directly as well. So, as always, for Coach Alex and myself, thank you for tuning in and see you tomorrow for yet another video. Yeah, and give us a like, please, guys. If you enjoyed the content, <laughs> fuel our fire. And see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take good care.